Okay, uh, hello YouTube. Um, this is a little video showing um, um, something weird that my little clownfish were doing. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen, this is the third time my clownfish has gone to my West Ophelia. So, and I thought at first it was just a coincidence, but it's just, it's been going back and forth between the West Ophelia and the rest of the tank. So I'm really excited, like, maybe, I don't know if this is like hosting behavior or what, but it's really exciting. And then he'll swim over to this one, and then the one of them will like shudder. They'll like pick at each other, and then I don't know if they're not, they're not really doing it right now. As soon as I grab the camera, they don't do it. Maybe if I record them long enough, they can do it. See, see, see it? You see it? Oh my god! Um, if you guys have any idea what this means, um, I would gladly. And then there it goes, right back, right back over here, to the, to the Wesophilia. This is I've never seen anything like this. I don't know, they've never done this before. But I did figure out that this corner is where one of the clownfish sleeps. It might, it might be this one, I'll fly over, and then they'll like pick, and then this one will dance. So I have no idea, I've never, these are tank raised clownfish and I've, I've used, I don't know, it's the first time I've ever seen him do this. I've been so preoccupied and then he's back over here again. This is, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, if you guys know if this is like the start of a mated pair or what or whatever this is, they'll swim back over. I I do know that all clownfish are born male and then the bigger, more aggressive one will turn female. I just didn't think that See there it goes. <sighs> That's Yeah, this is the first time I've I've seen the clownfish do this, so... Yeah, I'll just record them for a little bit, you guys watch them. <laughs> 